Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to get into My Hero Academia Season 3, Episode 3 and 4, or Episode 41 and 42. Alright. Would you be the greatest hero? All right, I guess. I just absolutely love the way he's about to start on the track. Ready, set, go. His hands up and it shoots out. Yeah, so right now we're doing our training camp. And first day took longer than expected. But uh, turns out... Um, even though we gain this mental experience, like we experience what it's like to fight some real villains, and we've encountered multiple times, not only with uh, Shigaraki Tomura and that Nomu, but also uh, the League of Villains during that uh, season one. And in season two, they got some personal training with heroes when they signed up to their agency. Although I don't know about Bakugo because uh, <laughs> Best John is mostly just like made him like a stricter person but he just exploded out of it. And yeah, turn, but it turns out even though we gained mental abilities, we've not really gained a lot in our physical abilities because like Bakugo, he only, when he threw that baseball, he only like got a little bit better but it wasn't by like it didn't double or anything it didn't even go up like a hundred it went up just like 20 or something so oh this is class B like we gotta catch up with class A mm-hmm I don't even know class B sensei's name I know that's Tetsu 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 <laughs> All 20 of us have different quirks. Mmm, okay. Quirks are like muscle. We gotta keep training them. Kota. That's the little kid's name, right? We didn't fully get his backstory yet. Just like with his parents. Oh my god. I keep forgetting that Bakugo's quirk is to use the sweat to make explosions. He can't just make fire or explosions right away. Holy crap. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, he can only use it for a certain amount of time and range before his like belly starts hurting. Oh shoot. That ain't right. <gasps> Shouldn't get like dizzy. Ida's like the only normal one. <laughs> mm. I thought he had like a limit. Like he can only eat for a certain amount of time. Whoa, she's making like bombs.
You gotta catch up with class B. I mean class A. Oh, they're part of the, um, what's their group called? The Pussycat, uh, Wild Wild. Oh my god. All right, so there's four of them. Oh, nice. Teleport. Assault through punching and kicking. We didn't see a uh, Deku. There we go. Okay, I take back E does. Wait, wait, no, I take back what I'm about to say. Mm-hmm. I think that's the best part. As long as you can eat, you don't have to worry about the rest. Oh, they gotta make the food, sorry. <laughs> At least they don't have to hunt for the food and all that. It's like when you're on an airplane, it's like, eh, but then since you're like flying up high, you don't care. <laughs> oh. Uh, stop being so sulky, kid.
We're talking to the hero nerd right here. He knows. I wonder if Colta has a quirk. Or then his mom told him, you can't be a hero. Ah. Can't blame the kid what he went through, though. Oh, who did that? Oh, wait, uh, yeah, they're here too, right? Are they here? Rise seven. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Dobby. When all ten of us are here. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, mean order sleeps like that. <laughs> right, once all ten of them are here, making an attack. Oh yeah, they got extra lessons because they didn't pass the exam. Remember from the end of season two? Damn. I just imagine if this was like in America or something, lawsuits, like how dare you do that to my kid? But then again, they're training to be heroes. <laughs> where I started from and where I end. Well, he looks so small. Oh, cause. Mm, but the master already told Shigagatomura. Oh, that's why you got the wild, wild pussy cat here. Can't rely on him.
hell. He's so fast. It's so weird seeing their interaction. This is nice having like classmate interaction because I don't remember this happening. It's like, what's your relation? That's so true. Yeah, maybe you should leave the kid alone. Ah, he cares a lot. Just just let Ida do everything. <laughs> Can you switch? Or maybe there'll be a group of three. But is she hicky then and it? Oh shoot, the attack has started, right? Oh, that's her quirk? That's really cool. Poison. Oh, I thought it was Bakugo like burning something, but no. 
I think it's the attack. Yup. Dabi has already started. What is his quirk? Whoa. Oh shoot. You got poison and fire. And there's... We're the vanguard action squad of the League of Villains. Oh, like, look at this, like, heavy gothic music playing. I mean, Aizawa is not here, but the four pussycat are here. Oh, shoot. But all of us are spread out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god. Well guys, I'm really glad I saved this episode to watch for the next week because huge cliffhanger. This is where it gets good. Like, so far the episode, I wouldn't really say it's slow, but I don't remember all of this in the, in the manga. Like, it's been like one and a half years so I sort of don't remember what happens but I don't remember so much like interaction and all that so I don't know if it's in the manga but um it was nice everyone working together to train their quirks their muscle is their quirk so if you don't train your muscles your quirk is gonna get weaker and yeah class B is also doing the same thing but there's like five of us who did not pass the uh exam so yeah, the exam, so they have to take extra tests, and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, what's his name? Deku is really worried about Koda, because he's like, well, he's alone, it could be dangerous, and, like, he just feels bad because the guy is lonely. Like, he knows exactly what it feels like to be alone, so that's why he's so worried about him. He was telling him about his past, like, I knew a friend who was always, like, looking up to the heroes and is always alone. But then Koda wouldn't be able to relate. He had Todoroki. Todoroki is just like, it depends. Like, just for now, just like give him some space or whatnot. And now they're doing this. And let's go, let's go. Oh, man. For this, it kind of reminds me of like Naruto, where like. Um, I forgot the kid's name, but it was one of the earlier episodes where Zabuza and uh, that kid whose parent, his grandpa was making that bridge, the Uzumaki bridge, and then the kid just never understood why his dad had to die for this. Yeah. I keep my angels sort of sort of there. I like that piano. All right, so League of Villains is out to get us. <laughs> and we got 10 people. They are some vanguard of the League of Villains. And then I'm pretty sure none of the teachers are here. Like, I don't know if the Class B teacher is here, but Class A Aizawa is definitely not here. He's doing the... Uh, test exam with the other kids yeah just the wild wild pussy cats are here but i mean one of them senses it and but like some of them has from the league of villain has already started their attack with the poison and like i'm not sure if it's fire but because it's like a blue flame but he's like burning everything with uh his quirk and then we see that girl again yeah i don't even know any of their names just dabi and yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Kota looks like he's in trouble because one of the villains was like behind him. And yeah, Ida, his first thought was like, oh shoot, Kota. Because he's the one who has no quirk and he's like alone at his secret hideout. Like, the League of Villains, man, the Master wanted to seek out something. Like, why target them? Like, don't they want to target all my? Why are they here? Like, let's see. Oh man.
You gotta believe. Telepath, so she can send info to everyone at least. <laughs> How to behave during an emergency? Shut up, man! Shut up! <laughs> Alright, the Class B teacher is not on the field either. Vardo. Fa Vardo. Oh shoot, he's already here. He didn't have time to erase that. He took that full head on. Oh shoot, he already got her? I remember he pulled one of them, like, down. Oh, yeah, Stain's idea brought them out. Mm-mm. Spinner. How dare you do that to a woman? The spider age. Ah. Oh, I love him. Let's retreat, retreat. But there's someone. Oh yeah, she's worried about Koda, her her cousin. Oh nice, nice Yamomo, quick thinking. Oh, is she the class rep? Um. Yeah, but do this for others. Don't do this for yourself. As long as you're there to save people. I'll definitely find a villain. But in it sounds like he's doing this for himself. Like I want to the glory, you know, the chance.
Oh my god, even she doesn't know of his secret base. Did he just grow some muscles? Oh, I just realized. This man. He's in the opening. This freaking man is the one who got his parents. Oh, damn it. Damn Deku, way to go. I'm surprised there's like cell phone service around. Well, yeah, that's the hero you're waiting for, you know, that's the person who will come save you, the person you're like, does not exist, it's that person, Deku. Is she fainted or what? What? That? Who was in front of us? Was it the girls? Tokoyami and Shoji. Oh my god, whose hand is that? I can't believe he fell for that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, he's famous. Famous, um... Oh my god, was she torn apart? They're looking for Bakugo?
left. He didn't run away. Muscle like quirk. Five percent is not enough. Five percent. Oh, so sad. Oh, shit. That just gets Deku fired up! <sighs> yeah, he can't. <laughs> oh, she was using 100%! Go, 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 go! Holy fuck. 100% man. Even if I lose my arms, I'm gonna use my teeth. Every part of my body. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shit, and he used a hundred percent. You gotta grow more. The punch was too obvious. What did he put on? I'm gonna look at you seriously. Oh. His speed and power. It increased. It was just playing around. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, like thinking of a plan, but it's like don't think of your weakness and just
he thinks Deku is gonna sacrifice himself, just like his parents. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> again, again. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh. oh damn! You gotta run. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look horrible now. <laughs> you haven't pushed him down yet. Oh my god, oh my god. It's free, you know? A hero can always break out of a tough spot. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <sighs> Come on, Deku, Deku! No. He used his quirk! Oh my god. That was so intense, man. That was so intense. <laughs> let's go, 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 let's go! <laughs> Freak it out! <laughs> One million percent! Uh, this is what I was waiting for. Oh my god. <sighs> guys, guys, this is just too much. <laughs> Deku, man, you always make me emotional. Like, as much as I like Pakugo and Todoroki, Deku, you always bring me back to realize what's true to the heart and just make me break down. Like, I'm sure you'll be someone. <laughs> you understand? This episode broke me. Oh my gosh, man. This is so horrible. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying earlier, like, even though I'm waiting for that 1 million percent smash, I thought it would be shown in the next episode. So I was like, oh my gosh, when are they gonna end it? But no, they just kept continuing and we just went all the way. You know, Deku just brings out that little extra something from everyone and he made Kota believe again. And Kota actually used his quirk to try to protect someone, not for himself, but to help Deku. Kota could have just run off, like uh, Deku said, to find help or just to be safe. But no, he used his own, he stayed behind because he didn't want Deku to die. He believed again, like someone, my hero, Boku no hero. And it was just beautifully done. I just felt so emotional like my heart and my arms and legs were just like clenching and every time Deku gets into his mode to fight he always brings up this speech about just being very selfless and risking their lives for other people and that just always make me so emotional so once again he did it again and I probably look really horrible doing this
episode, but yeah, um, tell me your thoughts on on this amazing episode and yeah, leave your comments. I'll be sure to read them and <laughs> peace out, guys.